Ontario's Minister of Health, Christine Elliott, made a funding announcement Wednesday at the St. Catharines Hospital. That's why I am pleased to announce today that our government is investing $175 million in 31, sorry, 131 hospitals across the province of Ontario through the Health Infrastructure Renewal Fund. This funding will also support hospitals in the Niagara area by ensuring hospitals continue to maintain infrastructure and provide care to patients in, of course, the right setting. Niagara Health is receiving $1.7 million from the uh, Health Infrastructure Renewal Fund, or HERF, to help support projects in six Niagara area hospitals. While many in Niagara look forward to the day there are new hospitals in West Lincoln and South Niagara, the Health Infrastructure Renewal Fund helps ensure existing sites continue to operate efficiently. For sure, so this is uh, $175 million across the province, uh, going out to 130 different sites, uh, sites for healthcare in the province for uh, infrastructure renewal. So this is pretty basic things such as, you know, uh, investments in uh, addressing electrical challenges, roofing challenges, basic things like keeping, keeping the hallways clean and, and the edges uh, on, uh, tidy. And these are things that are really necessary in order to ensure that we have safe, healthy hospitals and healthcare facilities. Uh, it's not always the, the, the pretty things, it's not the exciting, flashy things, but this type of infrastructure makes sure that we have buildings that are sustainable and that provide quality health care. So this morning the Minister announced $1.7 million for Niagara Health that will go to different sites to address uh, infrastructure challenges. So we have a plan in place for four of our sites, so the Niagara Falls site, the Welland site, and our Port Coburn and Fort Erie sites will all be getting a share of that $1.7 million. And all of our sites will be getting uh, much needed roof uh, replacement and electrical upgrades, uh, upgrades to our windows, upgrades to uh, other infrastructure needs that we need to ensure that we have a safe environment for our patients, our staff, and our physicians to work in. A second announcement was scheduled for later on Wednesday that would impact Hotel Du Shaver. Well, I'll be announcing $1.154 million for uh, the Hotel Du site as well for infrastructure renewal upgrades there to make sure that uh, they're able to deal with the challenges of an aging building. And of course, we announced earlier this year uh, in January of 2019 the uh, planning grant for a 64-bed expansion of the Hotel Du site. And so that's, of course, good news for rehab patients and patients across Niagara. But in the meantime, we also need to make sure that aging buildings are, are kept uh, up, to, up to standard and made sure, making sure that they're able to uh, deal with the challenges that aging brings and so we're providing those funds to make sure that we can uh, support patients and healthcare providers. We truly, truly appreciate In Niagara, you're watching The Source.